my memories are very clear, and that is that I was really dedicated to look after heart and heart lung patients. And what I saw was very sick patients where we had nothing else to offer except transplantation. And transplantation was moving very rapidly. So it was a natural development to get into transplantation to help the patient with, who was there in front of us at Harefield. Because the doctor-patient relationship is sacred. Because the patient comes to you in a desperate situation, saying, can you, doctor, help me, patient? And that's a very personal question. And they trust you implicitly. So you have to do your utmost. It's not only me, it was a group, and we were a team. We believed in what we were doing. We enjoyed life to the utmost ourselves by giving, many people say, a transplantation is a gift of life. That actually is true, because at the time, we didn't know that the gift of life is going to continue for 36 years of useful life, of seeing your grandchildren grow, and wow. So transplantation has been a great success story. But having said that, I've written editorials that the job is not finished, because uh, with uh, responsibility, comes accountability. And if you really want to be accountable, which we have to, uh, it's only 20% of patients who survive more than 20 years. What happened to the 80%? And that is the focus of massive amount of research, like what's happening here. And actually, the seminal paper which got transplantation going was by the late Sir Peter Medowa and guess what it was entitled? It was entitled Induction of Specific Immune Tolerance. What does that mean? It means I, I met the man and he is just one of my greatest heroes in life really. He was a philosopher, he was uh, won the Nobel Prize for Transplantation Biology. But what is specific immune tolerance, which he started it, made transplantation possible, is to allow the body to accept the organ, in our case it's either the heart or the lungs, but not paralyze the immune system. And so you get infections, you get hundredfold more cancer, this is not good. We have to go back to the science of Sir Peter Medowa, my hero, to induce specific immune tolerance and not get the rest of the transplant community who ever have transplantation, not 20% surviving 30 years, but 100% or near, there is no 100%, but near 100 surviving and enjoying life. Life is just like magic, it's so enjoyable. And to give it to somebody else is a great joy to the team who are doing it as well. So transplantation is a success story, but there is more work to be done.